Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode we finished up Mad Monster Mansion and started doing some overworld stuff and now we gotta do more overworld stuff because apparently I can break this gate. And I, I like, I'll admit it kinda is on me because I should have tried to break it and I thought I had, um, but I guess I didn't see a lock. And so I was like, oh, can't do that and I need the pumpkin for the stone eye. I think someone said that. If not, I know it. So, there's that. Um, yeah. So that's weird. I mean, it's like, I always, I thought like, it was very clever. Why was there no like, intro sound there? I thought it was really clever that they had added the lock to the side that you could break of the gate, and then they just kind of break their own rule, which kind of sucky. Not gonna lie. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with me trying to find Mumbo's hut again. I almost said Mumbo's mountain. Uh, see you in a second. Alright, I've been pumpkified. Also, gotta say, absolutely dis- oh boy. Absolutely dis- Can I stop being interrupted? I've just the frock to hide her rump. Um, when you jump as a pumpkin? and you make a weird squish noise, don't like that. That's kind of nasty. This is the exact same model down here. And that's a one-up that I can't reach. Very cool. Ooh, also I need to put in the red feathers code too. Ugh, there's a lot I need to do. All right, what do we got? What, this is, is this gonna be the entrance to the other level? Wait. Okay. Hello. Do you just turn me back? Ooh, hopefully there wasn't anything I needed to do. Unless he'll turn me back into a pumpkin. Well, he must if there's no other way out of this place, right? I don't know. And then one of these. Yeah, oh. Oh, that changes. Okay, you need to stop. That changes the water level in the overworld. Okay. That presents more questions than solutions. Um, before I like turn back into a pumpkin, can I like just break the inside of this or? That is a, that is a no. We got a pumpkin out. Okay, so we solved that mystery. Yeah, a lot of people were like, oh, you need to do this. This is required. So that's exciting. And like, ugh. Even with that, I'm not even... No thanks. Dang. I'm starting to realize, like, these aren't really friends. Mumbo? He's ready to eat us at a moment's notice. Nice texturing there. Mario 64 style. Mario 64 ROM hack style, rather. Um, Mumbo's not a real friend. What is he doing? He's just gonna eat us. All right, uh, so I guess next on the list, so we need to go to Gobi Valley. Yeah, it was Gobi Valley. I, I'm gonna keep getting that mix up with Gobi's Desert because that's a, not Gobi's Desert, but Gobi Desert because that's a real thing that exists in the real world. Um, now we need to, so we need to go back there for the honeycomb. I need to go, I mean, I don't need to go back for the red feather code, but I feel like that would probably be ideal. So, I'm just gonna meet y'all in Gobi's Valley. We have a Rivend. Whoa, that is... some pixels on the side of that wall. Huh, I, I wonder if it, like... Uh, so this is going to show how little I know about any game making process at all ever whatsoever. Um, I wonder how similar the texturing process when they were making the game is to like the texturing process of, for instance, making a ROM hack of Mario 64. Surely it's easier nowadays, cause like, you know, we've had all that time to perfect programming things and whatnot. So like, I feel like we must have an easier way of doing it, right? Bonk. Bah, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. This is his desert though, right? That's Gobi himself. Gobi? That's Gobi. Um, cool. I'm just gonna... There's no save and exit. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna slowly walk over to 
out of here. All right, back to Treasure Trove Cove. Wow, I, hmm, I really like Treasure Trove Cove. Like now, thinking about it, like, first of all, this music slaps. And the way it changes in the er in areas, ugh. Like, I'm not sure how many of y'all are aware. I'm sure a good portion of y'all. I'm making a Mario 64 ROM hack. I wonder how probable it is to, to do something like that for a ROM hack. That's the wrong button. Like, uh, make it to where you enter a different section of the stage, like, almost like how Dire Dire Docks does it, actually. Like, when you're under the water, the music, like, softens a bit. Also, wow, he's dead. I don't know. Oh, also, speaking of ROM hacks and whatnot, uh, I'm not sure if y'all are aware that I have a Twitter, but if you weren't, you should follow me on it, because I'm actually doing a poll right now that is asking whether or whether what game I should do after this because I want to do a platformer but I'm not sure what platformer and the options are the next star revenge game that's a rom hack that I could do uh banjo tooie or ukulele because I almost want to try out ukulele despite people saying that it's like not great because I'm sure it's fine passable at least I'm sure I've played worse rom hacks let's be honest so I don't know that'd be a Especially with, like, Ukulele and the Impossible Lair coming out and turning out to be very good, from what I've heard at least. Like, I don't know. Be It'd be worth it to, like, just check it out. Because I'm sure a lot of people were, like, thrown off by the kind of mediocre reviews of it. And then just didn't get a chance to see what the game had to offer. Because I'll be honest, I did watch, like, the first part of, like, a playthrough of it. 100 feathers. Bear and bird get 100 red feather. 100 maximum now is. All my feathers. It makes me sick. Fly to me, your butt I'll kick. Remember not to exit that time so we missed the the dialogue. I forgot what I was talking about earlier. See you at, um, actually, where am I gonna see you at? I, I guess we have to go back to to the overworld to, like, figure out where the next entrance is. I mean, that'll probably be the rest of this, uh, episode, I guess. Just trying to figure out where the next episode is. That's weird, and you know, I've heard that, like, uh... Ooh, I was talking about ukulele. Um, I've seen the first world, and the first world looks great. Like, the level design looks pretty good. Uh, what else can I say about it? I don't even know. The, there's level extensions that you like unlock later in the game so like it gives you a reason to go back to these levels when you have more abilities and complete them further uh, Shovel Knight's in it <laughs> so there's that I'm pretty sure Shovel Knight's in it at least Shovel Knight's in everything now Shovel Knight and Shantae they're just going nuts um, yeah I think it'd be interesting just to check it out even if it isn't you know amazing uh, and I'm, I'm going to play all these games eventually. This is just like what I'm gonna do next because I don't really have much of a plan for games I'm gonna play soon. So, might as well leave it up to what, whatever y'all wanna see. Um, I'm just gonna... This warp will probably go downwards, not upwards, right? Because I don't know where that warp connects to. So I'm just gonna keep walking this way. Because this is like... This is like the last area, really. Uh... Wait, where do we go from here? Hold on, uh-oh. I might be big lost. Is this the way forward? I think it is. Because we changed the water level and there was the area and yeah, okay. This must be it. Right? Or was it not here that we changed the water level? Okay. It must have been in the other area. And we haven't... Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't there a thing that we saw a long time ago that was like, oh, this is for a very late game area? Uh, unless that's the last world and this is the... Okay, yeah, this is where we go. Because we can get up here now. This is where we raise the water. It's like there were two water areas, so I don't know. I get overwhelmed by changing water <laughs> levels. Very easily. Hello? I want that box. That seems like secret. Big secret time. Yeah, fill up my 200 eggs. 
feel like the feathers is going to be like, like the eggs. People are like, oh, ho, wait until you see the final, really? Um, wait until you see the final battle. You'll be using eggs like crazy. But like feathers, that feels important. Come on, come on, I gotta do it. Oh, that's raising the water level again? I didn't think that was required. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, can I not get into that door now? Oh no, I don't like that. I didn't try to break open the door. Also, wake up. Where's that connect to? Ah, okay, that will make that easier. Cause there's a warp straight from the beginning of the, of Grunty's cavern to basically around that. When I'm nice and slim once more, burgers, fries, and chips galore. We've gone over this, you can't indulge. Ooh, it's a nice metal texture. I might need to yoink that. I've been needing a metal texture for the ROM hack and this might do it. Hello. As expected, where does this go though? Um, this seems completely unrelated. What, where am I? Where am I going? What's that? That's an entrance to one of the levels. Is that the entrance to this next level or is that the last level? Is that the one that I saw earlier? Cause it's like a similar color scheme. Like the weird red of the cavern. Perhaps, mayhaps. It's over this way then. A room. Fill up on that. Aha. Rusty Bucket Bay. Ooh. This, please. This has like exited my memory. This is the one everyone's like, ooh. Just wait until you get to this one. Now I'm remembering. Not remembering like fully, but like th this has like a infamous jiggy, doesn't it? Or something like that. I don't remember. Oh, that's exciting. Can't wait to do that. Wait, 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 wait. Is Rucky, R Rucky, is Rusty Bucket Bay the music I'm thinking of though? Uh-oh, uh-oh, we might, we're about to pop off. Let's do it. <gasps> I'm gonna munch. I'm gonna crunch. A legend. Okay, cool. This is Rusty Bucket Bay. Mm-hmm. Where do I even start with this? I mean, so I'm actually going to take that advice. Let's not worry about the notes quite yet. We'll explore. If I miss some, if I miss some, oh well. If I don't, also oh well. I can go in this. Ha ha, I'm a genius. This is weird. I've definitely never heard this music. Please. Like, Banjo-Kazooie is one of those games, even though I haven't played it, I've, I'm fairly certain I've heard like every song. I have not heard this song, which is very weird. I see that TNT down there. I'm not gonna bother with the notes, just know that I have to come back here eventually for it. I mean, what if I don't die though? Mm. I can't. Mm. It's hard to just see notes and not collect them. I hope you all understand. I gotta grab them. Especially in like a little secluded area like this. I'm not just gonna be like, oh, okay. I'll come back later after I die. You know? It's just very weird. Also, I am not risking half of a darn thing. I'm grabbing this. Let's get out of here. Well, huh. I can see there's gonna be a lot of surprises for me in this stage. Already hearing music I... Hold on. Oh. Already hearing music I've never heard before. This song, though. Mmm, you love to hear it every time. Alright, that doesn't work. Good to know. Can I get in this side, too? Okay. 
Uh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Duly noted. So that's that's like the first instance of something not being destroyed by the Wonder Wing, as it's called. I'm not worried about missing those notes in front of the boat right now, just because they're so obvious. Like, I'm not gonna miss them. I don't even know what I'm going for right now, but I'm going for it. One! Haha! <laughs> One! Oh. I have a feeling I need to find a passcode to that. Not gonna bother with it for now. I've never heard this... this far into the song. Like, obviously I've heard it because Vine- whoa! The- the underlying brick. It almost looks like... very... naturalistic. Like, ooh, that was a abandoned temple in a forest or something, you know? There better be a Jiggy at the top of all this. Like, come on. Oh boy. I don't know which path to go. I'm just gonna grab these and then go back for the jump pad. Okay. Yeah, cool. So that was, uh, one of those patented one mistake that cost you four HP. Gotta love those. Big fan, actually. Yeesh. Well, I'm going back up. <laughs> I'm not gonna just be like, okay, guess I'll do something else. Also, there's another Rareware logo right there on the side of that box. Very cool. Very hip. Trending. If I smack that, do I get, like, something? Surely I do. Also, I'm thinking, I'm seeing those windows on top of those, like, sheds, and I'm being like, ooh. Could probably smash those bad boys. I didn't... do the method. Also, why is this one stretched? Very weird. Mumbo token. Okay. Alright. <laughs> All that for one mumbo token. Do we even have- well, sh yeah, I guess we do have another transformation, they wouldn't give it to us. Oh! Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> Neat. Um... It doesn't s <sighs> I didn't see any other branching paths up there, so I'm assuming that's all that was for. It's all this all about. It's all this den. Okay. It's blocked. Well, now we need to figure out which one of these are good and which ones are bad. Okay, this is a good boy. Yoink! That's gonna, like, I I like how they do that a lot. The kitchen. Is this gonna burn me? Yes! That red hot ovens tend to burn! Yeah, shut up. You and I know well enough that textures don't mean a darn thing in Nintendo 64 games. Slippery. A knife? Like, if I step on the knife, it's not gonna cut me. You know darn well that textures don't mean a darn thing. Learn by trial and error. No. Ooh, I bet. Ooh, I wonder how many people have never found that note. Or that was the last note they found or something. Ouch, thanks for that. Get destroyed. Uh, that seems to be it, unless there's one in this back corner. Nope. Yeah, I have a feeling that I found, like, the note that destroys people in this stage, right there. That would have been nasty to miss that one. Okay, well, I don't know how much I cut from just exploring the overworld, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. The ones you can go in look slightly different. Look, that one has rusted on the inside, that one's not, and I bet this one's an enemy. Yep, okay, cool, now I know. Uh, see you all in the next episode, when we continue exploring Rusted Bucket, but Rusted Bucket. That's gonna come out of my mouth every single time I say the name of the stage. See you all then, and goodbye. <laughs>